Welcome to your new Edgewong trading journal. In this video, I show you how to get started with your new trading journal. When you log in for the first time, what you have to do now is create a new trading journal. You give your trading journal a name so that you can identify it later when you have multiple journals. Next, we select the account currency. This refers to the account currency that you have in your broker account. Now we choose the market that you are trading in your broker account. You can select multiple as well. For example, we can choose to trade Forex and stocks. The initial deposit is important. It refers to the amount that is in your broker account. The deposit date is the date before your first trade in Edgewong. For example, if you want to start journaling your trades from January 1st in 2023, what you should be doing is choose the deposit date the day before. Then we create a new journal. This is the home tab in Edgewong and this is how it looks before you have entered your first trade. By the way, if you want to get more information, go to the top right here and here we have a journaling course and you also find your documentation and the FAQ of Edgewonk. Now you want to enter your first trades in Edgewonk and for that you have two options. First, you can go to the journal and add your trades manually by clicking on the blue button and then filling out the input fields here. The mandatory fields are marked here with a star. Or to speed up the process of entering your trades, you can choose to bike import trades from your broker statement. For that, we go to the bottom left, click on imports. First, we have to select the import type. Here you choose the broker or the platform that you are using. You select the setup that you want to use for the imports. And then you drop your trading statement here. If you don't know how to get the right statement, click on the blue link here at the top. And this will take you to our FAQ where we walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to get the correct statement. To switch between the different trading journals that you have created, you just go here to the top right and here where it says demo database, you just click on it. Here you see the overview of all currently available journals that you have created. For now, we only have one. What we can do is either create completely new ones from scratch, but we can also duplicate the existing one and start a new journal that way. Here you can also switch between the light and the dark theme. After you have added your first trades, Edgewonk will come to life. First of all, you will see that the home tab populates. Also, you can access all the trades that you have entered here in the journal directly. You can pull them up, review them, change them. You can add screenshots here. You can merge different trades. You can also duplicate trades. You can delete trades here. And then it's time to slowly familiarize yourself with the different analytical features and the other tools that we're offering at an Edgewonk. For example, we have monthly reports, we have weekly reports. You can use our milestones to gamify your journaling and make it a little bit more fun. You can add your trading plans here. You can use the simulator here to simulate potential future performance. You can use our different charting and analytical tools here to break down your performance. By the way, here at the top, you find the different filters that allow you to really drill down into specific parts of your journal. For example, you can review the specific instruments separately. You can look at different strategies and setups differently. You can analyze reward to risk ratios. You can also analyze trades based on the month, the day, the year, or the hour that they were taken in. The chart book shows you all the trade screenshots that you have added to your trades. You can pull them up here and review them directly. We have a notebook feature which comes with a text editor and here you can enter whatever you would like as well. Under settings, this is where you manage the different parts of your journal. For example, here you can review the name of your journal, the account currency, the markets that you are trading. You see the different deposits and the withdrawals that you have entered. You can add new ones as well here. You can see the different instruments that you have entered in your Edgewong journal. You also see the different setups and strategies that you are using. We have the trade comments so that you can rate your trade entry, you can rate your trade management and you can rate your trade exit as well. This will unlock our emotional analytics such as the tilt meter and efficiency. And there's so much more. But for now, you are ready to get started with Edgewonk. Again, I would recommend take a look at our journaling course, which is waiting here for you. And we will go into specific components of the trading journal in more depth.